Now, a group of researchers at the University of Central Florida have been modeling how COVID spreads. The takeaway from their research is that if you're a COVID positive younger man whose only symptom is a stuffy nose, then you check all the boxes for being a super spreader. Now, the researchers have also created a kind of a cough drop or candy uh, that thickens your saliva as you eat it and keeps you from spreading COVID particles. They hope that their anti-COVID cough drop would be ready for sale by the end of the year. Well, joining us to talk more about this is one of those uh, co-researchers, uh, Michael Kinzel, assistant professor with University of Central Florida's Department of Mechanical Engineering. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, first and foremost, tell us about your study. So our, our study specifically was looking into um, basically what parts of the human anatomy or the human biology actually relates to super spreading. So we were studying, um, we're actually, our, our prime focus is studying something else. We're actually trying to understand the role of saliva and the properties of saliva in transmission. We're actually trying, we're in the process of developing a product that you put in your mouth that actually enhances a mask or or can replace a mask for scenarios where you can't use a mask like a for example pilots in an airplane they they can't really use masks because it can effectively communicate um so this would be an opportunity where we could actually manipulate saliva properties to make it to prevent transmission from the pilot to the co-pilot but but our our, our study or the core of our study or so, so that actually led into a, a different understanding where we started studying uh, what happens if we we add so we use computational models so so basically we we use high-end uh, models of fluid dynamics to to really understand the these processes now do tell us about this second part of your study regarding you know saliva and the role that saliva plays in spreading uh, the virus Okay, so this is the second part of the study was evaluating how saliva behaves and relates to spreading droplet formation and aerosol formation. So we've, we found that thicker people with thick saliva and less saliva basically have, um, they produce droplets that tend to fall faster, so they don't form this aerosol as much and it forms less of them. And that correlates to, interestingly, that correlates to um, women tend to have thicker and less saliva than men. Elderly tend to have less and thicker saliva than younger people. And um, when people get sick, it's a, it's a natural response for our, our body to make thicker and less saliva. This is all from dental literature. So our so so what we're, what our product is aiming to do the same thing, and we're doing this with actually a chocolate. <laughs> so we have a little chocolate that that you put in your mouth, and it does these same things. And and right now our we're in kind of prototype mode, um, and we're doing some testing with some some local companies, and 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 the hope is is to 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 have this thing scale up, you know, before our in the U.S., we're, we're about ready to hit our third wave. So that's that's kind of the hope. And the nice thing is, is it's chocolate. Every, most people like chocolate. So are you hopeful that more Americans will be open uh, to having this chocolate rather than they've, you know, been open to wearing masks, which has been such a challenge in the United States? So so this is kind of like the, the one thing that we need, that we... we, we you know, in theory, we could kind of market this as a mask. You don't need a mask, but we don't want to. That doesn't do society a good thing. But but it can effect, essentially enhance the effectiveness of a mask. Um, right? and, 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 and when I say that, I mean reducing aerosols by about 40%. Um, you know, those still come out of masks. Um, and 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 it'll make our drop and it does this by by basically not letting the drops coming out of you 
they, they come out as big, much bigger drops. The masks, you know, just a baseline mask can filter out pretty well. So it, it just makes mask work better. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Michael Kinzel, for joining us and all the best uh, with uh, this uh, project of yours of this candy that will hopefully help reduce the spread of coronavirus.